Yes, yes, it's your boy Lan Rizzle coming to you from the UK with another FPL International video. It's game week one of the season, so we've had a nice long break. Hope you've enjoyed the Euros, all the friendlies, all the transfer news and gossip. Um, but it's down to business now, game week one of the season, and I'm going to take you through my draft team. And just remember, this is just a draft, so a lot may change between now and Friday. But let's let's go. So at the back, we've gone with someone that was pretty much um, an ever-present force in our teams last season, um, Emiliano Martinez of Aston Villa. Probably one of the highest scoring goalkeepers in the game last season. And we're hoping that this season he'll continue that form. Um, as backup, I've gone with Robert uh, Sanchez from Brighton, who's at 4.5 million, dirt cheap, and is probably going to play. Brighton, they're not going to score many goals. They're probably not going to let in too many goals either. So he's probably a good shout. And then in defence, I've gone with Diaz of Man City. Um, someone that I couldn't necessarily fit in my team last season due to his price, but I'm getting in there early this time round. Um, I've gone with Luke Shaw as well. Um, now, Luke Shaw had a really good season last season. Um, really, um, he was an ever-present for Man United um, and just really kind of just excelled in his position. He's also coming off of scoring um, in the European Championship final as well, so hopefully his confidence will be on high and he can continue the good form into this current season. Um, ben White is my third defender, and at 4.5 million, he is dirt cheap. Arsenal's just spent a load of money on him, and he's probably going to be guaranteed to play in pretty much all of their matches. So um, that price point is just too good to resist, to be honest. Um, I've gone with Matt Loughton as my other defensive pick. Uh, for, uh, from Burnley and um, Burnley we know them by now they're really solid defensively they might start the season off a bit slowly but they're pretty much guaranteed to pick up form later on and um, I've got Matt Loughton there 4.5 million another good price point for the defender and then rounding off my defenders I've gone with Luke Ayling of Leeds again another 4.5 million pick had a really good season last season we'll be hoping that he can carry on that form this season as well and then in midfield, we've got the two big hitters. First, um, Mo Salah, obviously, uh, we know what he can do in FPL. He's been um, an ever-present and a very consistent player over the past four seasons now. Um, 12.5 million, so he is very expensive, probably one of the most expensive players in the game, but he's pretty much worth it. He's owned by 50.6% of FPL managers. So, I mean, if you haven't got him, then you're really missing out. Um, then we've got Bruno Fernandes, um, 12 million, so another expensive uh, midfielder. Um, he had a great first and second season, to be honest. Um, tailed off towards the end of last season, but that was probably due to fatigue. Um, he did score in Man United's friendly uh, last week, so we're hoping that this is the beginning of a, a good start to the season. Um, so with that, we've already spent 24.5 million on two players. So we're going to have to go with a few cheaper options in midfield. So I've gone with Basuma of Brighton, 4.5 million. Um, guaranteed to play pretty much, but um, he's kind of more of an enabler. Um, I've also gone with uh, Buendia of Aston Villa. Now previously we would have seen him um, tearing up the defences uh, for Norwich a couple seasons ago. Now with Villa, slightly better team and hopefully he can turn all his potential with Norwich into a lot of points this season for Villa. And then finally we've got uh, Stuart Dallas. Now you'll notice that last season he was a defender, now he's been reclassified as a midfielder at 5.5 million, relatively cheap. However, obviously that reclassification will probably diminish his points potential. Um, so he's kind of like a question mark in my team at the moment. Um, he might be coming out, he might stay. I'm not too sure, but um, we'll, we'll leave him in for the minute. And finally, we have our strikers. So we've got Tony of Brentford. Um, now coming off of, of an explosive season in the championship and uh, scoring in the playoff final, he'll be hoping that he can continue that form and take it towards the premiership. Um, we've also got Obafemi of Southampton at 4.5 million, dirt cheap, 
Um, Southampton have lost Danny Ings, as we know, um, and they'll be looking at Che Adams as their main striker, but possibly Oberfemi could be there pushing um, and hoping to establish himself in the first team. Um, regardless, he's really more of an enabler so we can get in the next guy into our team, which is Harry Kane. Now, Harry Kane, um, we all know his head's being turned. Um, there are rumours that he didn't necessarily want to play for Tottenham this season. Uh, we were thinking that maybe he might go to Man City and that could still happen. Um, but Man City have just spent a load of money on Jack Grealish. So that might impact their um, ability to also buy Harry Kane. So I've got him in there as a placeholder because potentially... Um, well, we've got, we, we know that uh, Romelu Lukaku has signed for Chelsea. He doesn't actually appear on FPL as of yet, but I am waiting for his price point. And then it's likely that I could substitute Kane for Lukaku. Because um, we, we all know what Lukaku can do in the Premier League. He's been in the Premier League, played for a number of teams before, and always scored goals. So um, I've got Kane here, but it could well be Romelu Lukaku. So there you have it. That is my FPL game week one draft team. Obviously, a lot could change in the next 48 hours. Um, so I'll be looking, keeping an eye on the team selections, keeping an eye on transfers. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any sort of players that you think I've missed out on or glaring omissions in my team, then please feel free to uh, put a comment below. Um, we are FPL International, so like and subscribe to our videos and you'll be receiving content as and when we put them up. All that's left to say is, I've been Lan Rizzle from the UK and stay safe.